So when I first started cooking, there was a lot I didn't know, and I'm not talking about like just like cooking techniques, but also just like things that you do, like tips and tricks in the kitchen that actually make your cooking life, your kitchen life a lot easier. And I thought, since there's so many that I actually use and have used for like 10 years, I thought I would share those with you today. So today I'm going to share with you the 10 tips and tricks that changed my life forever. So some of these tricks and hacks I learned online. Others I learned from kitchen staff when I was both running a restaurant and a server. Some of them I figured out on my own. So let's get started. So this first one was a game changer for me. I learned it when I used to run a restaurant. I learned it from the chef actually. You know when you have a cutting board like this? This one's really heavy. But you know those like little skinny ones? Something like this. And it like slides around when you're trying to chop vegetables. Well, if you take a wet paper towel or a wet towel and put it underneath your cutting board, it creates friction so that it doesn't slide around. So it's actually safer and just more convenient because you're not constantly dealing with the slippage. All right, so I don't know about you, but when I am baking, one of the most frustrating things to measure out is anything sticky or oily. Sticky in particular because it tends to like get stuck, let's say in the teaspoon or tablespoon and half of it is still on there and the other half is in the bowl. So this tip, game changer. All you have to do is take your measuring spoon, dip it in the flour or whatever it is that you're working with that's dry, dip it in the flour first and then put the agave or the oil or the maple syrup on there and then it'll just slide off and then you get all of the amounts that you need. And you can do this with anything sticky or even oil. This next one might be obvious, but it's actually shocking to me how many people don't do this. And I've always done this. I think I might've learned it from my mom or picked it up from my mom when I was younger. I just always saw her do this. So when you're cutting vegetables or really anything on a cutting board, keeping a dish or a bowl next to your cutting board so you can clean up all of your scraps and put it in the bowl, it not only keeps you know, your cutting board nice and clean, but also all of your scraps are in one place. You can put it in your compost. Um, whether it's outside or inside or whether the city picks it up and that's it. It keeps your cutting board clean. Some of the easiest things are not as obvious. So there's a few ways that you can peel garlic, but this one is my absolute favorite. If you have to peel a bunch of garlic, I mean, for shoots, I usually get the pre-peeled garlic because it just cuts down on so much time if we're doing like huge batches of stuff. But let's say you have a garlic bulb and you wanna use the garlic because garlic's awesome. All you have to do is smash the garlic bulb either with your hand or the back of a knife, put it in a jar and then shake it up. And then what you're left with is just all the cloves. All right, so this one, if you're not doing it, you are going to thank me forever, okay? You ready? You have a pen and paper, you can write this down. Cutting onions, it sucks, right? You tear, it's not fun, it hurts, your makeup's running. Well, fun fact, the acid that is released when you are cutting onions is attracted to water, so anything moist. And the closest thing to your cutting board usually that is wet is your eyeballs. And that's why you start tearing. All you have to do is take either like a wet dish rag or wet paper towel, put it next to the surface that you are cutting onions on, and then that acid is attracted to that wetness and not the wetness in your eyeballs. Another one that's super, super obvious to me, but like, I think my mom also showed me this one or I grew up always seeing her do this. Most of the time when I'm cooking for myself, I don't chop my own vegetables. I have my food processor do it. So you have a grating option, you have a chopping option. You can use pulsing if you wanna like mince things. Do as much as you possibly can in the food processor. It cuts down on time by like way more than half. Cuts it down by like three quarters. It makes like meal prep or just prepping for any recipe so, so, so quick. This next one is also really good for prepping things to make your life a bit easier. You can do this with either garlic or ginger. I've also seen people do it with turmeric. I don't use a lot of turmeric in my cooking, like not fresh turmeric anyway. And you can do this with herbs as well, but we're gonna do it with garlic. So you take all of your garlic cloves, peel them, put them in a food processor with a pinch of salt and then a generous amount of oil and whiz them around until it's nice and chopped, and then put that mixture, you can stuff it into an ice cube tray, and then you freeze it. Then you take it out of the ice cube tray, put it in like a plastic bag or something in your freezer, and then every time you need garlic and oil, you can just take out one of these little pucks and put it in your frying pan. 
All right, this one has to do with dishes, something we all love to do. If you are having issues with your dishwasher and some of your dishes are coming out not completely dry or just you don't wanna wait for it to dry, like whether it's like the 20 minute cycle or whatever, just open up your dishwasher, put a dish towel inside the dishwasher, close it, wait five minutes, your dishes will be dry. Just, I don't know why it works. I think just the towel attracts the moisture, but just try it. Trust me, it works. Okay, this one is another great one for baking. If you have issues putting tin foil, any sort of like aluminum foil into let's say like a loaf pan or something, I and mean, you're like trying to shove in the corners or whatever, don't do that. Just don't do it that way. Flip over the loaf pan, put the aluminum foil on top, press it, and then you already have the shape of the, of the pan. So then flip it over and just place it inside like a little liner. Or if you're having the same issue with parchment papers, all you have to do to make it fit is just crumble it up and then it'll mold to whatever shape you're working with. So if it's like a loaf pan, just crumble it up and then just smooth it out. All right, this last one is great if you are not cooking in your own kitchen, you don't have all of your supplies, or maybe you're at a friend's place and you're, I don't know, making cocktails, you don't have a citrus juicer, no problem. Chances are you have tongs. All you have to do is take your lemon or lime, put it in between the tongs and just squeeze it. And trust me, it gets out like just as much juice as a citrus juicer does. All right, guys, those are my tips that changed my cooking life forever. If you have any awesome tips that you wanna share with everyone, definitely leave them in the comment section down below. I love seeing like fun, interesting ways that you guys like to cook your food. One of you guys actually suggested using the uh, pizza roller when making the rice paper bacon and I have done it that way ever since. So definitely leave your tips and tricks. I read them. I know that everybody in our edgy veg community will read them as well and help some people out and make cooking a little bit easier for everyone. As always, thank you so much for watching and check out my other videos if you want more delicious cooking inspiration. Bye.